<laughs> that one surprised you. Oh. It's a buck, Cassie, as soon as he touches yeah. the net. Yeah. <laughs> hey, folks, today on Midwest Outdoors, we we're out fishing Rainy River, spring fishing in the boat today. We got Cassie Gerkink and we got Lee Falk. Had a little bet going to see who was going to catch the first open water walleye of the year. Lee won the bet. It's a buck, Cassie. Yeah. I want it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to start. Yeah, Lee, you got a boat full of technology in here, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> need to be a computer programmer these days. Actually, Wave Pros is that's a, a product that comes from technology too. If you've never heard of it before, it's actually a air shock system. What we're using is a Fox Shock. It's a hydraulic air shock. So yep. we have an air chamber that we control the ride height for the weight of the rider. Then we use the hydraulic side to slow the compression and the rebound damping. Yep. Keeps the keeps your body from taking the shock, and then when that. Uh, uh, returns back up, keeps you in your seat. You know, it, uh, you can definitely feel the effects on your body and uh, making a nice ride on the big water. Oh, it's a pike. <laughs> <laughs> Come up and actually smack that jig pretty hard. We're talking about technology and the evolution of things. The boats have really gotten bigger, haven't they, out there? Yeah, I think since we started this, they were probably average, you know, two, 250 for the motor size, and now they're probably three, 350. Yeah, and that's where WavePro released the 2.0 version, which actually what you put another half inch on it, but you got double the strength, didn't you? Yeah, we got double the strength. The manufacturers are going to bigger and bigger seats, and boats yep. are going faster and faster, so we had to get stronger. Another dinner one. Yeah. Not the big pigs we're looking for, but that'll work. Oh, nice. Just a vertical jig plastic setup right there. Drop them in the live well. When it comes to the, the product there for installation, it's pretty quick and easy, isn't it? Yeah, it only takes 10 minutes to put one in. Yep. Um, just the six screws that are in your boat are ready to the floor. And then yep. now we're even coming out with a new hub yep. to go on to 2.0, so you'll just be able to pop the whole cast system right off to your existing seat. Yep. So. And you've got movable hubs and then you've got permanent mounts, right? Yep, we have uh, movables for Springfield 2, two and 3 8 yep. and uh, Atwood 2 yep. and 3 8 And actually, they're working in any boat out there, right? Yeah, yep. Cassie's got one. And Cassie, this isn't her element here. We're about 20 miles from where she likes to fish. She's a full-time charter captain out on the lake and uh, She's going into her fifth season and she actually, ooh, look at that. You might change your mind and like fishing the river, Cass. Oh, <laughs> there you go. You made a count. You know, like with Cassie, she's running all that time out on the water. You definitely feel the impact of those waves on your body, don't you? Yes, it's two to four footers, pretty common out there every day. She did a lot of testing for Wave Pro. What was last year, about the second half of the season, you had the two-incher in your boat? Yep, uh, mid-July I got the two-incher put in and um, ran it for the whole rest of the season. I probably got about 45 trips on it. Well, they've definitely used people like Cassie to get the product out there and test it in big water conditions. You know, those are 26 to 30 foot boats too, so there's a lot of force being thrown around. It's definitely going to help you out on uh, wavy days in your fishing boat. Ooh. You know, not only was Cassie involved with uh, running some of the prototypes and getting some time on the, the two-inch models out here, she's also done some sports show time. Number one question would be, how do I pick the pedestal height? Sure. Um, easy to do, measure from the floor to the bottom of the seat at about an inch, and that's going to be the pedestal height that you want to go with. We run a 10, 12, 14, and 16 inch pedestal. Now you can make minor height adjustments with air pressure too, can't Correct. you? Correct, yep. Um, you can just hook this little pump here to your Schrader valve um, and, and adjust it accordingly to your ride. Yep. How yeah, you, up and down. And, yep. and it is, there's a chart on the Wave Pro where it'll show you basically suggested air pressure for uh, body weight. Nice, simple, easy to do. Yep. Oh my goodness, Lee, holy cow. Oh. <laughs> nice. That's what we're looking for right there. The Rainy River Special. 
They've been pretty elusive today, that's for sure. Water temperature's way down there, 35, 36 degrees. Grab a hold of that one. That right there is one of the reasons why people love going walleye fishing. You know, Lee makes a great product that can help people get out there and get, uh, get on fish like that when the waves are tough. If you want more information, all you gotta do is look up waveproshock.com. For Cassie Gertkink and Lee Falk, I'm Greg Jones. More Midwest Outdoors coming right up.